Did everyone else get brisket? I got ooh ribs. It falls right off the bone. Falls right off the bone. That's how you know it's ribs. I got a side of mashed potatoes. No. Are you having trouble sleeping? Are you searching for complete and total serenity? Wouldn't it be nice if someone could take care of you, like a mommy or a daddy? Do you think about like, hey, what if you were an animal that just got to sleep around all day, like maybe a dog or a cat that just got to shit and piss and sleep and sleep in the piss and the shit and eat the shit and piss and you didn't have to do anything in your life and you didn't have any authority over your own individualism you could just sort of be taken care of for the rest of your life? You know, like a dog. Are you seeing things? Like when you close your eyes, you just see weird little images. You see little green guys running around that speak to you in a language that only you can understand. And they're saying little funny things, aren't they? <laughs> Are you freaking out right now? Are you fucking freaking out right now, you fucking freak? Well, if you answered yes to any of those weird little questions, then boy, do I have the solution for you. down and hold it down if you try to start to fight. And I'll say, nibble on my carrot, nibble on my nose. You're gonna be my very best friend. God bless my special angel. Your mommy's a little virgin. Everyone say hi to Rodney. Hi, Rodney. Oh. Hi, everyone. This is Rodney, my special friend. And this is a master class on how to find your keys. Step your toe into that pool of untapped potential. Look sexy, get fit. Step forward, look back, be circumspect. Put your key into that lock and say it with me now. Open that door. Right, sweetie? Mommy will never hurt you. Mommy's hurt a lot of people. But don't take my word for it. I'm just a crazy psychopath with a narcissistic personality disorder. If any of you want to play a little prank, I got news for you. This is how to open the door, not how to open my fucking jackass. Why don't you listen to some of these words from our beautiful customers who learn to open the door, unlock their potential, put their heart inside a waterfall, drink from the fountain of youth. My heartburn was horrible but opening the door really cured my acid reflux. I used to be such a prick before. Friends were embarrassed of me, babies hated me. The key changed my life. I used to live each day with fear and regret until I opened the door. I was having a lot of hard times. And then I opened the door. It changed my life for the better. There's just this divine aspect to everything after the door opened for me. Open the door, you won't regret it. Opening the door changed my life for all kinds of reasons. Right now, I'm in my backyard at my house. I didn't always live in a house. The keys is the way. Your shiny door is waiting. Key in the hole, turn the knob, open it up, see the light, and our lives have been changed forever. One, two, three, four, open the door. I got everything I needed, everything. Whole different world. <laughs> Well, good God, what else is there to say? If you don't call this number right now, I'm starting to think you have a major problem with women. <laughs> this is you, your life isn't going very well, nothing's working. It's not good. No tranquility in here, no tranquility in here, in the gut. This is your stupid, little, dirty life. And this is you living your stupid, little, fucking life. Once you find the little key, Unlock the door, take your cord of energy, beam of light, to pull you through the threshold. Get through the fucking door, bitch. Finally, you'll be able to rest forever in a deep eternal sleep. But then life doesn't fucking stop! And then you find out we only 10 years left on the fucking planet when it's on my fucking phone!